All right, guys, hope everybody's doing well. Finally got a chance to do a midweek video. So if you haven't seen my post I put up, eh, I've rebuilt my Kyosho Hellcat Phaser MK2. The car was running great last time I had it out, but the problem is I had it out in the wet and I put it away and I kind of forgot about it and I went to take it out for a shot. All the bearings are rusted, the motor was jammed, just loads of things. So I spent a good couple of nights and a few beers cleaning it all out, getting new bearings all around it and things. So I figured this skate park area, you see me sometimes coming to sort of homemade one by a couple of guys, it's nice and smooth surface. So it's probably a good place to come and give this car a little rip to try it out, see if everything's okay. So what I'll do is I'll have a wee drive about just now, then we'll do a sort of wee movie style video and we talk about the car at the end. But yeah, it's feeling good. It's a nice little drifts on it. So it's still running the standard Kyosho 15 turn motor, but um, at that for this car, I always think it's more than enough. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. We'll we speak about it at the end. And also, I mentioned about a new car we've got coming to the channel, so I'll bring that up towards the end of the video, let you know what will be coming up next. So, pretty excited to tell you guys. So, here we go. Enjoy the movie of the Hellcat Phaser MK2 in action. Can't wait to get this done. guys I hope you enjoyed that video with a Hellcat that was a lot of fun to make you can see the the car needs a good wash now but dusty nice and loose at some points here so it's really good for drifting but with this car obviously with a standard motor it's just um, a brushed motor and things on it it's nothing fancy 2s it's more than enough power for an area like this which is obviously just a small sort of inside a building or even if you've got a small car park in this place you're you can max out the speed but only for a second or so and it's all about the sliding and things like that but yeah that was a lot of fun to do i hope you've enjoyed that but um now i'm going to tell you about what my new rc is coming so i've been watching a lot about drag um <laughs> drag cars not drag guys <laughs> that came out a bit dodgy but um basically there's three dragsters out just now so you've got the the lossy 22s You've got the Traxxas, Drag Slash, and you've got the um, Team Associate DR10. So they're the three ones, RTRs, that you can get. So I wasn't sure initially what I wanted to go for. Firstly, I've basically ruled out the lossy instantly, just because purely, I'm not going to go in depth on this video about it, but after the laser nut, I'm not buying an R lossy RC again. I'm just, I'm really put off the just everything about that car, the, the money it cost, the hassle I've had and I'm still having with it. Um, yeah, I just refuse to give them cash again. Then you've got the Traxxas Drag Slash, which looks really good. I've had slashes in the past. That was one of my first sort of hobby grade cars, was a two-wheel drive slash. But when you open it up and look at it, yeah, it's got a lot of neat features and things, but it's still a VXL system. Most of the parts are basic slash components anyway. And... Um, 
if it was cheaper, it would, I would jump on it, but I think it's too expensive just being tracks as how they are. They tend to overprice things a bit too much for, for what I feel you're not getting anything any really real better than anybody else. I mean, there might be arguments on that with performance, obviously, and things, but value for money to me, I don't think you get enough out of the Traxxas. So I've decided to go for the DR10 as it's the cheapest out of the three of them. And obviously, I've got lots of RCs, I've got lots of ESCs, even VXL systems, Spectrum systems, 4S ones lying about, 6S, 2S. So I've got more than enough parts, spare shock, spare components to make the DR10 a very fast RC. So that's what I'm kind of planning on going for, is I'll get that, we'll start off stock, see what times we can get. Um, I'm not sure how fast it'll be out the box, but I'll start working on that with the Sky RC GNSS system. Have a lot of fun with that, and um, yeah, any feedback for you guys will be really appreciated on the car and what you think about me trying to get into the dragster side, as you can hear the rain starting to come on here which is a good thing with driving indoors, it's um, never any problems about getting wet. But yeah, thanks again for watching guys, and um, I really do appreciate it. Everybody who subscribed, um, or even just generally views, puts a thumbs up, I really, really do mean it to the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. Um, we'll continue doing more videos on all the different cars. Obviously if this DR10 comes by the weekend, I'll get something out with that. And we'll get back to some bashing on the track and maybe a little bit of workshop stuff which I'll be able to do a lot with the DR10 as well because as I'm adjusting it and setting it up and that, we make a few videos so you guys can see what's going on and get some input for yourselves. But um, yeah, have a nice week guys. Hopefully I'll get another video out before the end of this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.